Hello church, it's good to be with you this morning. You may be wondering what on earth, where is the barnyard bunch? Um, they're taking a little break today, so yeah, you're stuck with me. Just kidding, not stuck because I actually have something I really wanna talk about with you. Um, I just felt really convicted by this Bible verse that um, I've been studying this week, and I wanted to just share my thoughts around it with you. So I'm going to read to you 1 Peter 3.15, and it says, but in your hearts, Revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have, but do this with gentleness and respect. So this verse has really been on my heart this week, and we know that this has been a weird year in our world, and with everything that's going on, and with COVID-19, we've had to adapt and change all the time. And we know that this past year has been kind of tumultuous just in our own congregation. So we may be questioning hope in, in a lot of ways in our lives right now. So since I'm your children's director, I wanted to share some ways in which I have hope. And I have found hope in previous ministry experiences I've had, and I found hope in our current uh, children's ministry that um, we're working with and the kids we have. So I have hope in the little four-year-old boy that I know that told his pappy and dad that when their tractor wasn't starting, they should lay hands on it and pray. And the pappy and dad did, and sure enough, that tractor started after they all prayed. I have hope because a 12-year-old girl I mentor saw this really cool worry stone at a store and asked her mom if she could buy it for me because we had just recently FaceTimed and she was asking me about what's going on in my life. And at that time I was in college. So I was like, oh, you know, trying to write a 20 page paper and I have finals coming up, but I'm trying not to worry, even though I'm worried and a little stressed. And she told her mom that I think Sam really needs this because she needs to stay calm and maybe this can help her stay calm and not worry. I have hope when kids get so excited to see me and sit next to me during daily devotions that I eventually had to tell some kids like I I'm so thankful that you want to sit so close to me but I do need some personal space and I really believe that somehow these kids just felt closer to Jesus the more they were like physically close to me in some ways I have hope because a little girl FaceTimed me this week because she just needed to talk to me about the puppet video from last week and how it made her laugh and she loved it and how she couldn't believe that Rufus made Stuart the squirrel acorn milk and she really thought Rufus was gonna give Stuart a dog bone. And then she sent me a video and said, I just love talking to you. I have hope because of the pictures and the drawings and the notes and the cards, kids and congregants have given me over the last few years I've been in ministry. I have hope because kids are seeing God work in their lives and they're celebrating these moments. So church, the next verse I'm going to read, I, I want you to think that the word you is Shepherdstown Church. So here we go. It's Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you. For, the no, for I know the plans I have for Shepherdstown Church, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. It is my prayer that you all can testify to the hope that you hold. We know that God is with us. His faithfulness is clear. And I would invite you to think of ways you can live out the hope you hold in your personal relationship with Jesus and the hope you hold with this church. Maybe it's through praying for your church leaders. Maybe it's through finding new ways you can invest personally in the various ministries of this church. And I also challenge you to consider the ways you live out and express the hope you hold with the youngest generation of this church. So church, let's be hopeful and let's share it with each other and with our kids. Happy Sunday.